Hi there, it's Chris Graham and Nick Watts here, looking at the Premier League here for We Love Betting, the season almost kicking off. And for me, Nick, one of the most fascinating markets is the relegation market. For the first mm -hmm. time, I can never remember, guys, there's no team's odds on to go down. I can never, ever remember that before. I think that's because of, we saw last season the three teams that came up all stayed up. Only the second time that's happened in the Premier League year. So I'll start with those three, the three sides that come up this season. So Hampton and Redden, 11 to 8, uh, best price joint favourites to go down. Um, along with West Ham at 9 to 4. Do you think it could happen again here? We could see the three teams who come up all stay up. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, when you think that West Ham are the side that came out through the playoffs, and they're yeah. the ones splashing all this money around, being linked with Andy Carroll and, <laughs> and yeah. whatnot. Um, you know, they were the side we expected to romp home in the Championship last year, and it, and it didn't happen, but they've still come up, and, and therefore they should be able to establish themselves potentially. Uh, the other two obviously got good credentials. Southampton, a, a really good attacking side. Uh, themselves and West Ham were the only sides in the Championship to score over 80 goals last year, so going forward I don't think they'll have uh, a problem. Lambert, of course, uh, has been a, a sensation in the Football Leagues. It's all about can he do a Grant Holt, can he translate that form onto the biggest stage, and I'm inclined to think that, that he could. I, I, I like him, I think he'll, he'll definitely be a pain for, for defenders. Maybe okay, if you... Back to about 100 to 1. Oh, well, That's there fun. you go. Yeah. You kill like 80 to 80s and I back to about 100 to 1. <laughs> feeling very confident. Oh, I good, know. good. Um, yeah, no, I, I like him. and I, I like the, the trouble that he could potentially cause for uh, defenders. Reading uh, kind of followed QPR's league, uh, league lead in a way, um, in that they had the best defence in the division. And it was that really, uh, obviously that, that good run of form, but it was their defence which it was built on um, uh, in getting them into the Premier League. And they've got a, quite a lot of uh, attacking talent too. Um, I like them as a team and I, I think they're too short to back all of them really to be relegated. Um, and I could see potentially all three staying up. Yeah, wouldn't that be something second season in a row if, if, if that occurred once again? Uh, we'll look at the next trio in the bet in Nick Norwich, 13 to 8 to go down. Wigan, the, you know, they always seem to survive despite the fact that he hates them, <laughs> 74. And Swansea uh, under, under Michael Loudrop, uh, 9 to 4. Wonderful season last year, but you know, Alan's gone and Ben Rogers is gone. Uh, out of those three, who do you fear for the most? It has to be Swansea, I have to say, and uh, you know, again, tipped up in the RP, and uh, I think a lot of people are fearing for them, and you can see why. It's just plainly obvious for everyone. Uh, Brendan Rodgers leaves. The, the Sigurdsson deal falls through at one of their stars of last year. Joe Allen follows out the door. Scott Sinclair being linked away. You know, this is a team being absolutely dismantled, and while you, you could have got on them at a much bigger price earlier in the summer, right at the start of the summer, they were five to one to go down. And, what a price that looks now. Ooh. I mean, I guess anyone who backed that, and I did uh, speak to a couple of people on Twitter who had yeah. backed it, yeah. uh, I think they were just probably banking on second season syndrome yeah. or something, yeah. but um, beyond their wildest dreams that this team could be dismantled in, in the way that it has been. Um, you know, Loudrop's come in, and to be fair, he's got a decent reputation. Um, he, he's bought pretty well, but he is relying on the likes of this Mishu. Uh, yeah. You may have to excuse my pronunciation yeah. there. Uh, adapting to the Premier League and it's relatively unique demands uh, will, he, will he adapt or not and, and we've seen lots of players that, that are fantastic in other divisions not so good uh, in this one and, and vice versa so um, for me Swansea are very vulnerable uh, I'm a bit tired of backing Wigan to go down Chris <laughs> I'm going to leave it this year uh, yeah. Martin has struck upon a formula <laughs> in the last year that was really working for him yeah. uh, and the club went from strength to strength winning a, a, a silly amount of games <laughs> and crazy, yeah. unlucky not to win more quite frankly beating Champions all the big fun. teams it was it was absolutely astounding uh, you know when you get the likes of Sean Maloney playing out of their skins you know you're doing something right and he stuck with them again he, he could have gone again this summer yeah. and he's decided to stay and that was always my thing about Wigan is that yeah, they had a great manager, but that surely he was going to be snapped up at some point, possibly midway through the season, yeah. and that they were going to drop like a stone afterwards. But uh, hasn't happened so far, and I'm just tired of getting beaten up by Wigan, so I'll leave them be. Norwich, absolutely a possibility. I think they're a touch short, but you know when you lose your manager uh, in Paul Lambert, who's taking you to those back-to-back -back promotions. Uh, it's obviously going to be a blow. What they haven't uh, experienced has been that mass exodus of players on, on the back of it, and for me, therefore, Swansea are the better proposition at a bigger price. Nice one. Uh, well, there's loads of other candidates quite mm. open this year. I mean, next in the bet in West Brom at 4 to 1, and QPR 11 to 2. Um, what, who else do you think will be involved in this relegation mix up? 
Well, I, uh, I made you happy with the Lambert comment, but uh, I, I think you're also going to be happy with me tipping West Brom to oh, go wow. down, because I know you fancy oh, wow. that as well. Yeah. Another situation where they, they've lost a, a, an iconic manager yeah. for them uh, in Roy Hodgson, a, a guy who took over when they were two points clear of the relegation yeah, zone. Exactly. Uh, they've been on a horrible, horrible run of form under Di Matteo. I remember raising an eyebrow when he was sacked, but yeah, at the same time, exactly. you look at the form back then, uh, and it really was uh, appalling. Uh, I think I've got some notes here. They'd lost seven or nine games at that time, uh, and really the team isn't that different. OK, they've got the likes of Ben Foster and Shane Long on board now, but Foster's obviously experienced relegation before, so good a goalkeeper as he is, is he going to be en enough to keep you up? Um, rookie manager and Steve Clark, and if he doesn't get it right, you know, they could find themselves in trouble pretty early on, really. Um, for me, when, when you see them, uh, the likes of four to one kicking around, uh, and I, I think that's a, a price definitely worth backing for a side with a new manager. Um, the only other one that I picked up on, again purely because it was tips in the, the Racing Post, was Stoke. Um, I'm not entirely convinced they will go down. I think yeah. they've done all right with the addition of Michael Kitely. I think it's really good. The guy's never really had a chance to prove himself in the Premier League, but in the brief flashes we've seen, I think he's shown that he's Premier League quality. He very much fits into that system of speedy wingers that can deliver a cross and guys in the centre are big and bulky and, and, and can score you a goal. Um, yeah, they were the lowest scorers in the division last year, but they're pretty resolute on the whole. Um, and I can see why they've been tipped up. But for me, the only opportunity there for them is the fact they've got a really tough start. So maybe they are worth backing at a big price. I, I think they're hovering around the sort of 10 to 1 mark, yeah, something double, like that. double figure price. Yeah, so you, you could think about backing them and then six games into the season when they've played all these big teams, they've yeah. got an awfully tough start. Um, they're going to be a lot shorter than that yeah. and you could think about trading out at that point yeah. and, and getting a bit of value before they turn things around. Yeah, interesting. So just sum it up then. Yeah. Three teams to take the plunge in the Premier League back to the, the horrible world of the championship. Tough to pick three. I would, I'd say Swansea absolutely are a great bet if you can deal with the fact that you've missed the value. Uh, you know, nine to four all the way yeah. in from five to one. It's it's a little bit galling, but I, I do think they're a, a relatively safe bet uh, to take the plunge. Really, uh, and for a bit of value, West Brom at a four to one would be my picks. Um, Norwich you could consider, but uh, for me, those two are the ones that stick out.